Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to start a new chapter, wave optics. Last chapter we have studied is ray optics, and this is wave optics. What is the difference between these two? Both are optics. That is ray. This is wave. Ray means it is considered as a particle nature. Wave means it is considered as wave nature. Okay, so how these two are different, and how we are going to discuss about the wave natured based on properties, everything that we are going to de deal in this chapter. Okay, let us go to the topic. Okay, so in this, as an introduction, this chapter explains the wave nature of light in all its properties. Okay, wave properties, what are the properties it discussed is here and based on that we are going to see about the application part of it. Okay, based on the wave nature, how the law of reflection, law of reflection sign of, uh, that means angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection that we have already studied. Similar thing, how we are explaining this in the form of wave nature and refraction of light. Refraction of light, uh, we have already discussed. The light ray is moving from one medium to another medium. Rarer to denser or denser to rarer, that is what we have already discussed. In that time, we have studied the Snell's law, right? Sine of angle of incidence of I divided by sine of angle of uh, refraction R is equal to constant. How we are going to prove this in the form of wave nature? That is what the thing that we are going to discuss in this topic. Okay, and some important application of wave optics is also going to be discussed in this chapter. Okay, for example, if we see um, 3D glasses, which makes up of important property of wave optics, you have already seen lots of 3D animated movies. Okay, recently, um, lots of 3D animation movies have come, and by using the wave nature of the light how these 3d glasses are going to work and how it is how it uses the important property property of polarization that we are going to discuss about some important property like polarization that is what we are going to discuss and the cameras also using using the photographs and camera recording for 3d pictures 3d pictures how it is discussed that is also nowadays 3d still photographs which is which has evaluated nowadays okay as you can see in the social media strike okay and in thin film used in the cars to protect the sunlight that is sun protection film in the sun, uh, side of the glass windows windows of the cars that you can see sun protection flames sun protection window, uh, windows over there so this how this is used in this kind of by using a wave form of near light everything that we are going to see in it <coughs> And next, the light is a particle or wave. This is a million dollar question because some people say that it is a particle and some people say that it is a wave. And around the year 1800 and 1900, some people and some set of scientists, they considered that light is a particle nature and some scientists, they say that it is wave in nature. Okay. And Newton, the scientist Newton's According to his theory, Newton's theory, light is a particle in nature. And you, you might have studied in your lower classes that light is having two power properties. Particle nature means light travels from one particular point to another particular point in the form of a particle. That particle is called corpuscles or photons. It contains the energy of H nu. It is an energy packets like this. Lots of lots of different types of angle that we have studied about particle nature of light. Okay, this means the light is made up of a small particles, and those particles are known as corpuscles, photons, or energy packets, which carries the energy of H nu. Right, and this theory was also known as corpuscular theory. Okay, corpuscular, corpuscular theory, is, it is also known as. And Newton 
proved the following phenomena by using the theory of mechanics what is what are the phenomena he proved reflection reflection we know that it is the if the light goes and hits a particular surface it will bounce back okay it if you consider this as a carom board if you consider as a carom board if we strike the striker it will bounces back right similarly the incident and reflected ray the angle everything is explained by using the wave theory of light and when the striker hits the boundary of a carom board it is same as the incident ray and it bounces back at the same as a reflected ray as you can see the diagram over here if this is a considered as a carom board or a if the wall, ball is going to hit a surface and it will be reflected means means this is a incident uh, ray and this is a reflected ray and this is a normal this is the thing that we have already explained by using the particle nature right so there is a case of electric ele elastic collision angle of incidence i is same as angle of reflection r he was able to prove that the phenomena of reflection of light by considering that light is a particle in nature and similarly refraction refraction it is moving from one medium to another medium that is rarer medium to denser medium when the light moves from rarer medium to denser medium it will bend towards the normal and when it moves from denser medium to rarer medium it bends away from the normal as we have discussed the molecules are tightly packed when the light enters enters the molecules are attracting the light towards it right according to newton when the corpuscles strike the boundary the particles denser medium tend to attract the corpuscles you can see the uh, diagram which is given over here this is a rarer medium this is incident ray it goes and hits and it is refracted it is moves towards the normal this is the normal line okay so it moves towards the normal why it is moving towards the normal is lots of molecule which is present in the denser medium it attracts the light towards it so the light started bending towards the normal okay so the net force on the corpuscles is when they are fully inside the denser medium fully inside the medium, uh, denser medium it is attracted towards it so according to newton's first law of motion if the net force is zero then the particle will continue to move in a straight line because until otherwise some external force comes and disturb you it goes it continues to goes on the straight line some disturbance is happening some force is acting on this light in the denser medium that is why the path of the light is changing according to the newton's first law so as the net force on the corpuscles enters in the denser medium zero they keep on moving along the same direction when it moves from den rarer medium to denser medium it bends because of the force acting over here so rectilinear motion of light when it comes to newton assumed there is a two rooms by side and it is separated by a wall two different rooms are there it is separated by a wall and one side there is a window and another another room it is only because of the door which is kept in between only the rooms will get light okay so if the window of the first room opens you can see the diagram over here this is this is the two rooms okay if this window this is separated by a small hole okay if this window is opened in this room this room will get light as as a partition a opening which is present in the hole the light penetrates to it and this room is also getting the light so that is what uh, we have already studied that the light is a particle in nature light travels in a straight line it is a particle in nature if we consider the light um, for uh, for example it is a particle in nature why we can say that it is in a wave nature it is we can explain it is uh, no one more uh, different kind of experiment okay uh, now consider only these two rooms only okay if the light travels in a straight line if we are inside the room can we see the sun no if we are inside the sun we can't see the sun but still we can see the light which is coming over here how this is happening this is happening because of refraction and 
one more important phenomena for this reason is diffraction diffraction means in the edges of the medium the light started bending okay this phenomena can be explained only by using the wave nature of light okay bending of light because of light bends and enters into the room this is considered as the wave light is considered as a wave in nature okay let us discuss about this how this is considered as the wave and uh, what are the scientist uh, opinion about this wave everything that we are going to discuss in the next class okay thank you